Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Satisfactory. Uh, it has released uh, just today at the time of recording. I'm not entirely sure exactly when this will be uploaded. It might be later this evening, it might be tomorrow. Um, but yes, Early Access is now out on the Epic Games launcher. It is not available on Steam. It is an Epic exclusive for the next uh, 12 months, I believe. Um, now, I have seen this played. Uh, I didn't get the chance to play the um, early, early access uh, that was last weekend. Um, but I have seen it played, so I know roughly what I'm doing, but I haven't actually jumped in the game at all. So, uh, let's just start a new game. We've got three places we can start. Uh, let's see, uh, we can call, we can go to the grass fields, a large area that's open and flat with frequent patchy patches of biomass, making building easier but distances longer. A barren, medium-sized area bordering the sea, which is mostly flat, with nicely balanced distances and building opportunities but limited biomass and small but lush mountainous area surrounded by varied biomes making building harder but biomass a common resource. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, nice flat open areas seems nice. And let's give it a name. Um, Mini B, I'll just call it Mini B. And there are, uh, there is a friends multiplayer available, but this is just going to be a single player game. So let's start. We're in space. Attention pioneer. The no following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5. Four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. Okay, technically here we are decelerating or accelerating upwards, so the little tag on the bottom of that thing over there should be going down, I think. But I like that it has physics. Here we are. Planet fall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. And we are in the game. Okay. Oh, incoming message. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. First objective, 
Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, Fixit Incorporated is cost-effective and efficient. We do not waste. Okay, so we want to dismantle the drop pod. Just before I get into that, I'm going to have a quick mess around with the settings just to see if I can make it run a little better. I don't know if you're picking this up, but I am getting a slight jittering. I'm not quite running at 60 FPS and um, the sound is cutting out a little bit. So let me see what I can do about that. Okay, I fiddled with the settings a little bit. It seems to be a bit better. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, uh, press F to enter dismantle mode. And I missed what the other one was. Ah, yes. Uh, hold left mouse button to dismantle. And that's gone. And I've picked up a hub part. Okay, now what? Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Okay, so, um, press enter to open the inventory. Sorry, press tab to open the inventory. And, alright, we want to equip this. Um, so, shift plus left mouse button, equip. Third objective. Oh, Please don't touch it. Please yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay, so press C to scan for resource deposits. Okay, so we've got some iron over that way. I'm looking at the um, HUD at the top of the screen, by the way, the compass. So some over there. There's a little bit over that way as well. Let's go in this direction. Does shift allow me to sprint? Looks like it. Now, as I understand it, this green stuff is a kind of poison gas. So let's go around that. Ooh, don't mind if I do. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. I don't know what to make of this thing. I, I Like I said, I've seen the game played um, before, so I've seen these things. The sort of balloon cow bird whale things that does not look like an efficient life form uh, anyway where's the iron i've lost it again this way was it up there oh no it's this bit right in front of me okay so we found some iron oh this is one of the baddies uh right Left mouse button to zap. Come on. Come at me, bro. Aha. Okay, and E to pick up an alien carapace. Very nice. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Okay, so let's pick up some iron. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. I thought I heard something. So, yeah, we need to find a nice wide open area that we can build our hub on. Okay, the frame rate is suffering a little bit. I'm currently running at 40 frames a second. Hmm. Uh, oh, let's just plonk it down here, I think. Okay, press Q to build, open the build menu and select the hub. Ooh, okay. Uh, where do we want to build this? Let's put it... Yeah, there. Okay. So we've done that. Now what can we do up here? Congratulations. Oh. 
You have unlocked Hub Feature Manual Craft Bench Hub Feature Hub Terminal Fifth Objective Hub Upgrade Storage and Power Note The Craft Bench and Hub Terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, so we've got these two things, and if I go to the Hub Terminal, uh, we need to go through these upgrades. So, um, let's see, to do this one, I need to get 10 iron rods. Okay, so if I come to the craft bench, to make iron rods, we need iron ingots, and to make iron ingots, we need iron ore, which we now have a lot of. And, okay, so we need 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10 iron rods. There we go. So now if I come back to this one, oh, wrong button. Um, 10 of them, upgrade hub. Okay. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. Sixth objective, hub upgrade, construction. Note, connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so uh, I'm just turning all scans oh. reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Anything else? No, okay, so yeah, I'm just turning all of this iron ore straight into iron ingots um, because, at least as far as I know, in the early game, iron ore isn't used for anything else. And once I've done this, we'll have a look and see what we need to do the next upgrade. I don't know if this is something they are going to implement, I've seen other people mention it, um, but yeah, as you craft more and more, this sort of starts to heat up and shake, but it doesn't actually shut down. Okay, so for hub upgrade 2, we need 10 iron plates, 10 iron rods, and we also need 50 wires which are made from copper, and that will unlock a bunch of stuff for us. Okay, so... Um, Oops. Uh, is it this one? Where do I make... Ah, it's an equipment workshop I need. That's it. So I need six plates and six rods. Well, I've already got a bunch of rods. No, I've already got a bunch of plates. So let's make a bunch of rods as well. I'll just get... Mm. Well, I was going to get 30, but I'll get 40 instead. There we go. And then if I come to this one, we'll make an equipment workshop. Missing iron... Oh no, iron plates. I had iron ingots, that's right. So let's make some iron plates as well. Uh, we may as well get 40 of these as well. 30... 40. Okay. Now can I make this? Yes. Okay, so we'll... Yeah, we'll just pop that right next door. I'll probably regret putting that so close, but there you go. And then in here, um, let's see, let's make a portable miner. Okay, so we need some copper for this. So, okay, let's go and find some copper. All right, so uh, hold C and select copper. Okay, 200 meters in that direction, 400 meters over there. 500 meters over there. I think 200 meters sounds good to me. I think I saw another of the, the things. Did it tell me what they're called? Well, that was easy. And um, yes, copper ore. Let's chip away at this for a bit. Very good. Now, is there any more around here? I don't think we need that much copper, at least uh, not compared to the amount of 
iron. So, okay. So I just need to remember where that is, I guess. Uh, where's my base? This way. Okay, let's come over here. Configure that. Oh, actually need to make, so I need some wire and some cable. Ooh. Um, so copper ingots first. Let's make these. Okay, and then let's turn that into wires. And we'll turn some of them into cable. Okay, that should do us for now. Okay, let's come back to here. Let's make uh, a portable miner. Uh, yeah, let's make another one as well. In fact, let's make three, because I can. Okay, and right. Have I got the stuff I need for this already? Yes, I do. So let's put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. We'll upgrade the hub straight away. And over here on these resources, I'll let Ada tell me what she wants to first. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Okay, I think that's everything. So yeah, if I go tab, uh, let's put one of these, and do I just, how do I put this down? I just click, yep. Okay, so that looks around for a little bit, and then it starts drilling. There we go, and if I open that up, you'll see it starts collecting iron ore for me. So I'll put, uh, in fact, let me just have a quick look over here. I want to see if this is copper or stone. I think it's stone. Yes, that is limestone. That is limestone as well. well let's get some of this. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, but yes, so this patch on the ground that it was sitting on, let's stick down a miner on this guy as well. He can sit there, and then I'll go and put the other one down on the copper, if I can remember how to get up there. It was over there, wasn't it? Yes, up there, that one. And here we go, let's select this one, and we'll pop that down as well. Lovely. Yeah. Interestingly, it actually starts mining straight away, um, so that animation doesn't actually mean anything. You can just pick up the copper ore straight away if you want to. Anyway, I will let that do its thing. doesn't require any fuel. It will just keep going. Let's head back home and we'll start looking at making... Um, oh, yeah, there is fall damage in this game. Um, yeah, let's start making some furnaces or smelters or whatever they're called in this game. Okay, they are called smelters. They take five iron rods and eight cables. Okay, so let's um, let's stick one over here by the iron. Uh, let's think. I want this to go the right way around. So, it's a smelter, and I'll stick that there. Okay, and then this stuff. You can see this one's shut down. So I can pick up that iron ore, and I can come to the smelter, say I want the smelter to make iron ingots with iron ore. However, it doesn't have any power, so we need to power it. I think it's on this side, yeah, this is where the exclamation mark is. This is a biomass burner. So what I can do, if I throw my leaves into there, that will start churning through them to make power. Uh, now, it doesn't have any connections at the moment, but what I believe I can do... Uh, oh, I need concrete to make power poles. That's all right. I can make concrete from here, I believe. Yep, just takes three stone. Okay, that's as much stone as I can make. Let's try this again. 
Oh, I've got some, uh, what are they? Be beryl nuts. I believe they can be used for this health. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Okay, so I can put a power pole down there, and I can attach that to that. And that will start supplying power to this power line. And then I can take this one. Let me get a bit more of a, a sort of network set up. I'll take this one over here. Put it there. And plug that one into there. And then this will start. So, yeah, you can see it's starting to make some iron ingots for me. Okay, so we can do a similar thing with copper and stone as well. We don't need to smelt stone. Um, we just need to turn it into concrete, I guess. What do I need for this? Uh, reinforced iron plates and more actual iron plates. So how do we make a reinforced iron plate? With iron plates and screws. Screws are made from iron rods. So let's make some screws while we're here. Uh, we need, I think it was just two of them, wasn't it? So select that as a milestone. Um, let's see, plates, concrete, cables, and 75 iron plates. So how many iron ingots have you got for me? Some. Uh, well, we'll start turning these into plates. And I believe once we've got this, we can get conveyor belts. Ten of them in there. Upgrade the hub. There we go. What has Ada got to say for me? Congratulations. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay. Eighth objective. Hub upgrade. Additional power. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Caution. Overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Yes, so there is a power network in here. Um, this is how much we're producing. This is how much we're using. If we end up using more than we produce, it's not like Factorio. It doesn't slow down. Everything just turns off. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, but now we can make conveyor belts. So, let's... Uh, get a tr can I make a miner yet? That's the button I want. Um, production... No. Is that the next tier where I can mine automatically? Because that's where things really start moving. I've upgrade four. Yes, miner. Okay, so we need 100 iron plates, 75 iron rods. Got the concrete and some of the cables. So let's put the concrete and the cables in now. Let's make some more cables, I guess. Okay, so that's, that's plenty of cables. And now let's go and see how many iron plates we've got in here. Uh, 81, ah, because we are still at the stage where we need to fill it manually. Oops, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong thing. That's the one we want to put in there. Okay, oh, let me get some iron plates then. Oh, everything's gone quiet because I've run out of fuel. So let me pick up more leaves. Actually, can I make biomass yet? Uh, yes, I can. I can turn... Uh, 10 leaves into 6 biomass, but that is much more efficient than leaves. But I do still need the leaves to actually turn into the biomass. So let me go on a leaf hunting spree. Okay, that will have to do for now. So let me turn that into biomass. I get a distinct feeling this shouldn't really make that kind of clink sound that it is, but oh well. Okay, and then I should be able to put the biomass in here, uh, and that lasts longer, 
so we shouldn't have we shouldn't run out nearly as quickly. Okay, I'll, let's see, I picked up a bunch of petals as well, which I don't need just yet. So I'll put them away. Uh, I'll put away the carapaces as well. Now what was I doing? Well yes, we can also turn wood into biomass. And wood makes even more biomass. It turns five wood into twenty-five biomass. So yeah, we've already got an entirely new stack of biomass there. I'll put that in the storage as well. Over here. In you go. Upgrade hub. There we go. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Okay. Now, objective. Oh. Hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note. To ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Alright, so now we can build miners. That's what I was after off, uh, for all of that. So, a miner. We need... Okay, we need a portable mining drill, so we've got one there, and some iron rods as well. So, just need to go and pick up a little bit of iron from here. Uh, yoink! Then, if we come to here, just need to turn some of them into iron rods. Thusly. And then if I pick this guy up, that should give us the... Uh, e, so grab all, pick up. Okay, and then on here, we should be able to build a miner. So it kind of sort of locks into the middle of the node, you can see there. So where do I want that? Um, let's put it there. Okay, and I'll deconstruct this one. Because if I rebuild the smelter is it control yes if i press control it will sort of lock it onto a grid with other buildings so we can get it nice and neat so i'll put it quite close but with a little bit of a gap okay and then in here this is the output of the miner and the input of the smelter should be able to build a conveyor belt i'm missing iron plates let's go and make some iron plates quickly so I build it from there to there. Okay, now both of these buildings need power. You see they're sort of flashing red there. So uh, let's move this actually. Okay, that if I come from that power line to there. And then from that one to up there and there. That should power both of them. So that drill goes into the ground there. And you'll see it start to make some iron ore at 60 per minute. There you go. Spits it out over here. Into the smelter, which I need to reconfigure to make iron ingots. So it can only take in 30 per minute, so we're producing much more than we're using. But then... Uh, let's get a constructor. Oh, I need some... Are they reinforced iron plates, I think? need some reinforced iron plates. And build this next to it. So this is like the Factorio assembler. So, pick that up. Build it there. Get me a conveyor belt that goes from there to there. So you can see that will start spitting out the ingots. And I can tell this to make me some iron plates. And I need to hook it up to power. Because, of course I do. All looks good here. And then this should now just be spitting out iron plates at 15 per minute. How's the power doing? Eh, we're doing alright, but we are already starting to reach the limit of what we can cope with. So, my thinking is, we've got a setup of three machines there. This one is making iron plates. We've got another iron deposit here, so we can get another setup. And this one can make us some iron... Can't afford. Ah, 
Yes, I need another portable mining drill. Uh, I can go there. And then a smelter. And then a constructor. Ah, yes, need iron. Uh, no. Yoink. I didn't take them. There we go. I need reinforced iron plates for these ones. Hook that up to that. Hook that up to that. Hook that up to that. And a conveyor belt in there. You make iron ingots. Then I'm going to rush over here and be probably just in time to watch my power do that. Yep, so if I go into this now, you can see it went over the top. So what we can do, if I just pop some fuel in there, that one starts working, but I imagine this will very... Actually, no, that's only started working because it doesn't have a connection. So let's hook that up to this power pole as well. That immediately dies as well, because that went over. But what we can do is ka-chunk, and that will reset it. And because we've now got two fueled, we can now cope with the power. Uh, how much fuel was in here? You can have that as well. Okay. So this guy should now just be making iron ingots at the moment. Okay. To a constructor. And the constructor, I can tell, please make me iron rods. Okay, now this guy is making me iron rods. Hey! And that's the game in a nutshell, really. So what do I actually need for the next level? Club upgrade 5. I need plates and rods which we're making. Um, concrete and copper wire. Okay. So I don't need a smelter for the concrete. That just takes in raw stone straight into a um, constructor. But, um, yeah, so I need two miners, two constructors, and one smelter. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. So we'll come over here, and we'll pop down a miner. Actually, let's pick, whoop, let's pick this guy up first. So, miner. To face a bit more of a useful direction than that, that'll do. And let's see, where shall I put the constructor for this? Okay, is that going to be. Is that going to let me put a belt there? Yes! Okay. So this constructor will now make concrete, as soon as I give it power, of course. But that's doing what it's supposed to. Okay, and then let's go and do the same for the copper. Okay, so, miner. Oh, fell off a ledge. Smelter. And then a constructor. Okay, that's definitely the right way around this time. Let's. Okay, uh, it does work. Maybe, yeah, I must have just had it the wrong way around. Okay, so now these guys need power. And the smelter I need to tell... Make copper ingots, please. Yep. And this one I need to tell... Make wires, please. And there goes the power. Hmm... Okay, neither of them actually ran out of biomass. It's just a case that I am using too much power. Yeah, you can see it immediately breaks. So, what I'll do, if I have a quick look at this guy... Okay. I've got most of the concrete. 
So, what I think I will do is, if I head up to the concrete up here, I'll grab what's in the machines. So there should be a little bit there already. There you go. I'll grab that. And then, if I put that on standby, and I'll put this guy on standby as well, they shouldn't use power. So, chunk. And we're doing good. Okay, so I need. 374 more wires. I need 78 more rods and some more plates as well. Well, less than 100 plates. So we'll pop in the plates. Have we got any ingots on us that we can turn? No. Let's go and see how copper's doing. Okay, it's it's chugging along. Um, so, I mean, at, at this point, we're just playing the waiting game. So what I might do is just do a little bit of editing magic and speed this up for you. Okay, that is now all done. We should be able to go plonk, plonk, and plonk, and upgrade the hub. Whoa. Okay. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Equipment object scanner. Equipment beacon. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Okay, so we've got a research machine here, so we can currently research Pale berries, alien carapace, flower petals, or burrow nuts. Um, let's start at the top, I guess. Oh no, I put the berries in the box, didn't I? Um, yes, here they are. Oh, no. Fine. We'll do it this way around. Okay. Um, put a berry in there. Oh no. <laughs> Getting all my boxes mixed up. Okay, so that takes five minutes. That will do its thing. And the next thing we have to do is start working our way... Well, first we actually have to build the space elevator. Space elevator is a big boy. Means I can't actually get the top of it in view there. Um, so that's what we're working towards. That will allow us to begin project assembly, whatever that is. Um, I think we'll leave that for next episode though. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.